Right, well, we, uh, we had to swap over the uh, SD cards. Apologies to the two people who actually watch these fucking videos. I think everyone else accidentally clicks on them. Maybe free. Mm. But luckily for you, this isn't a bollocks chat video. We are actually going to be playing some games. Right. Uh, so, let's start with Rascal Plus. You little rascal. Is it going to be a case of, you little rascal, you made me waste my pocket money. So, yeah, Budgie uh, was... Um, one of those labels I'd certainly forgotten about uh, and it's actually a, a budget label from uh, Alligator now once people saw what a successful business model the Mastertronic 199 range was and then you know the uh, dubiously uh, monikered Mastertronic added dimension uh, we've added uh, one pound or 100 pence to the price. Uh, a lot of people uh, jumped on that bandwagon pretty quickly. And Codemasters was probably the first. Damn it with a fresh tobacco going out. Uh, let's say no, because I want to try these games as they are. So I've never heard of Stephen Kelly. Um, this actually says Rhino Marketing. How weird. So yeah, you know, I hope you can actually see this. Now these are these are all framed on the camera to remove as much of the border as possible. So what you should actually be seeing is um, you know the full screen, which I think in this case has gone into 38 column mode. Uh, I think you can do uh, 24 rows as well. I don't think it's 23 rows on the old uh, you know Vic two chip. So this is a Defender clone. Now as far as I, I know, uh, Guardian uh, by Alligator, oddly, who owned Budgie, uh, that is the best uh, C64 Defender clone. So what can you really say? I mean why is that thing following me? Is he going to fire? Is he firing them things? very difficult to dodge them uh, things but actually it plays fine you wally mad commodore you can't smoke and play defender you have to be at least uh, 17 to be able to do that yeah I didn't get on well with uh, the defender arcade controls I was probably about 10 when I played it. You give me a break. I mean, I would have had to stand on like the small stools they used to put uh, in, in front of some uh, arcade cabinets. So, you know, parents with uh, small kids could actually, uh, yeah, not that there was many places, like actually you would describe as an arcade enough already, man. So the graphics are fine, the coding is fine, and uh, you know, the sound effects are fine. Right, well, on Game Base 64, this was uh, marked as budgie. Um, so I, it's got Rhino marketing here, look. So, 
Now, I, I really don't know what's going on. I mean, does space give you like a thing? Uh, for nostalgic reasons, this cannot be more enjoyable than uh, Defender on the, the VCS that I had, which I think was 1981. So, I mean, it is what it is really, it's a budget version of a Defender Stargate. This isn't bad, I have to say. And if this is 1985 when Budgie released it, then uh, that's pretty damn good, you know that? I mean, you could certainly use this game engine to write a fantastic version of Defender without the scanner on the top, because they haven't done anything like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we're going to have to switch to a different zip stick or find a WD-40. I suspect swapping over the joysticks is the uh, easy option. I haven't seen a WD-40 for at least a month. Actually, it might be two months. When did I do the uh, paddle controllers last? I did give him a, an extra spritz. But anyway, this is like a gazillion times better than fucking Annihilator by Mogul.